Ashworth. I'm grateful to the Secretary of State for an advanced copy of his statement. And Mr Speaker, I too begin by paying tribute to all the NHS staff that are working day in, day out to provide the highest possible care to patients at this busy period. Now, of course, we do welcome measures to improve mental health services in this country, as indeed we welcomed such announcements exactly 12 months ago when the then Prime Minister made similar promises. But does the Secretary of State not agree that if this Prime Minister wants to shine a light on mental health provision, she should aim her torch at the Government's record? 6,600 fewer nurses working in mental health, a reduction in mental health beds, 400 fewer doctors working in mental health, and perhaps most disgracefully of all, the raiding of children's local mental health budgets in order to plug funding gaps in the wider NHS. Could he therefore tell us why the Prime Minister this morning was unable, therefore, to confirm that money for mental health would be ring-fenced to have stop this raiding of budgets happening in the future. And now we will welcome support uh, on measures to improve mental health uh, support in schools. Will the government offer more resources to local authority education psychologists? And what provision will be in place to give teachers suitable training for doing this work? Now turning to the winter crisis. This morning the Secretary of State said that things have only been, and I quote, falling over in a couple of places. So let's look at the facts. A third of hospitals declared last month they needed urgent help to deal with the number of patients coming through the doors. A&E departments have turned away patients more than 140 times. 15 hospitals ran out of beds in one day in December. Several hospitals have warned they can't offer comprehensive care. Elderly patients have been left languishing on hospital trolleys in corridors, sometimes for over 24 hours. And he says care is only falling over in a couple of places. I know La La Land did well at the Golden Globes last night. I didn't realise the Secretary of State was living there. Perhaps that's, that's what's where he's been all weekend. So can he now confirm? Can he now confirm? that the NHS is facing a winter crisis and the blame for this lies at the doors of number 10 Downing Street. Does the Secretary of State agree it was a monumental error to ignore the pleas for extra support for social care in the autumn statement a few weeks ago? Will he now support calls to bring forward the extra 700 million uh, allocated for 2019? Will he bring that forward now to help social care? And will he urge the Chancellor and the Prime Minister to announce a new funding settlement for the NHS and social care at this March's budget so this year's crisis never happens again? And with respect to the four hour A&E targets he has just announced, can I just press him further? Is he now really telling patients? that the, rather than trying to hit that four-hour target, the government is now, in fact, rewriting and downgrading it. If so, does NHS England support this move? And what guidance has he taken from the Royal College of Emergency Medicines that this is an appropriate change to the waiting time standard? Now, Mr Speaker, this Secretary of State has made patient safety an absolute priority. In that, he has our unswerving support. Will he agree, I am sure, that one of the most upsetting reports to come out of hospitals last week was the death of two patients at Worcestershire Royal who had been waiting on hospital trolleys. Can I ask the Secretary of State if he will commit to personally lead an inquiry into these deaths? Is he aware whether these were isolated incidences and when does the Trust intend to report back on its own invest investigation and will he uh, um, undertake to keep the House updated on these matters? In conclusion, there is no doubt, Mr Speaker, that this current crisis could have been averted. Hospital bosses, council leaders, patient groups, MPs from across the House urged the Chancellor to give the NHS and social care extra money in the autumn statement. Those requests fell on deaf ears and we are now seeing the dismal consequences. NHS staff deserve better. Patients deserve better. The government needs to do better. Can I urge the Health Secretary, get a grip. Yeah.